it's Kashiba, and welcome back to Legends of Arceus. So, um, two weeks ago, we challenged Frenzied Lilligant, which was not fun. So, um, now, basically, we are, we gotta go, what is that carnivine? I, bro, are you okay? Um, you good? You good? Oh, you sleeping. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm um, bye. I'm gone. Um, Oh, what the hell? But, um, as I was saying two weeks ago, we, uh, faced off against... Where am I going? We faced off against, um... God, frenzied Lilligant. And now I gotta go report to Kamado. Hoping I know where I'm going, because I don't. Um, yeah. Story of my life. I need to get on the other side. Where is the bridge? Where is the bridge? To the other side. I don't care about y'all. Look, you guys ain't gonna attack me, right? I mean, I know I gotta... Uh, uh, um, I don't want to be near that, cause um, I don't think that Yan Mega is good for my health. How do I get out of here? Wait, why don't I just fly there? That's a thing I can do. Can you stop seeing me? Thank you. You don't see me. I don't exist. Okay. Oh! 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 No! 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. S oh, for Yan Mega was coming for my booty. Can I just? Can I please just? I'm gonna hide in this pink flower. Because, you know, I totally can't be seen here. Oh my god. <sighs> Go. Away. Why is this so difficult? Right. <sighs> guess I... Right. I guess I could use you for... Whatever I need. Yep. What is that? Oh, it's a Pachi Reisu. Oh, it's a female combi. You want. I want. I want that. I ain't got crap for balls. I gotta make some. I don't even know if I have the tumble stones to do so. I weren't even supposed to use the Pokeballs. Those were supposed to give me great balls. Oh god, what have I done? Oh boy, I'm sorry. You don't see me. Alright, uh, let's do what I was supposed to do and just... Yeah. 
You're a real wonder. I saw a light disappearing into the space-time rift. Called another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hiswi. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. What's this? You quell L Lady Lilligant? Smashing, let's head back to the village then. The commander will be waiting, will be wanting a report. Found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. So, you su successfully caught Lilligant. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon. But it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. Stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from the very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond... ...impurgening. There you go, piping hot potato mochi fresh from the stove. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with some friends. Sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Oh, right. Have this flashy new recipe, Kashiba. It ought to scatter these gloomy thoughts. Come on now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you'll, you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart, as long as we truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete the Pokédex of ours someday. Morning, sleepyhead! You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh. I'm still going to be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Kashiba. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment at this... M Mr. Kamado, sir, uh, so about the whole Ursaluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arezu. And you, Kashiba. You will come with me. To Prelude Beach. These people 
have just arrived here at Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard that the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed. You have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Kashiba here. One of our Survey Corp recruits. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Kashiba, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Hmm, Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is necessarily quali that is necessary quality. For one in the survey corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned. As the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Excuse me, boss. Arita from the Pearl Clan's here. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Kashiba, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' e effort. Then you will come to my office. I don't understand why Kamado didn't just bring me to the office to tell me about the next mission. Mission? Where the hell am I? Is there Pokemon to hunt for here? Why was I brought here? Or is this just outside Jubilee? Because I don't see any Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's just outside. Practice field, huh? Interesting. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mireland. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago a tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps. Seems some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. There are serious concerns and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this dis- Desecration of our late Lord C. 
Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this might be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, Kashiba. Think nothing of it. Kashiba is a talented, hard-working member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure she will sort things out. Indeed. Kashiba quelled the Lord of the Woods... I've seen both her strength and her kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther. And the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Firespit Island. Sorry it took me a bit. I went to go change my look. But, um, yeah. The Cobalt Coastlands. Um, I feel that is a lot of water type. I want to catch more alphas, though. I do have to level up my Pokemon and stuff, so... I think what I have in my team should be fine. Oh yeah, I can involve Luxray. Luxio and a Luxray. Uh, wrong one. I need the Dex. Hmm... What do I have to- I've still got a lot to do with Luxio. But I do want a Luxray. Could always catch another Shinx and evolve. So. Also, it all counts together. Because... Yeah, I can evolve. Hang on. Wait, that was the correct one. I need balls too before I head on out. Oh, I can change the name. Interesting. But yay, Luxray. My first fully evolved Pokemon. I do need to go up a rank soon, though. Because. Yeah. My Pokemon are almost 40. But, um, I'm gonna try and get some balls really quick, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Ah, if it isn't Kashiba. Though, I suppose it's supposed to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands? Paulina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some Pokemon in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then. As an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious powers. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region... Then the stones you find throughout history will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power 
Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you. Take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginkgo Guild has some of them as them from time to time. Alright, cool. Into the coastlands I go. Wow, it is a ways out. Ah, uh, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of the history. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. Kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder. Water types? Or flying types, perhaps? Oh! I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to complete. So, any questions before you get started? Hmm, indeed. Fire Spit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you to speak to a fellow called... Iskan, I skin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Alright, time to go. Oh, it's Arita. Alright, let's go talk to her first. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have to battling you. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Right, go there's an Eevee wanting to get in on the action. <laughs> Alright, well, mm, Glaceon, yes. Um, don't think I have a proper Pokemon for this. So I'll do a strong style thunder thing. Why is it ganging up on me? That's so unfair, dude. Okay, well, I'm not focused on you, Wild Eevee. I need the Glaceon. Really? Yeah, one more should get it. But now I have to get the level 15 Eevee. But he's gonna use an agile style quick attack. Is that her Pokemon too? Whatever, it's done. Bringing out my Golbat, it's done. My alpha Golbat. Bye. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you, allow me to heal your Pokemon. All right, with you, I think, with you, I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan, Clan's leader, or your commander. But in the truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we 
we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise the successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But this Lena, that is to say Paulina, she's very dear to me no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pro Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all of this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Alright, so... Go a ways in. Ooh, new Pokemon. I'm probably going to end up playing around for a while. Hush now. Settle down. I'm Paulina of the Pro Clan, and who might you be? Ah, uh, so you're that child from the Galaxy team. I heard how you aided Cleaver and Lilligant when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to Cobalt's Coastlands? We have no load here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess which of these grabbeth would you say is the precious lord's child? That's what everyone says at first. This quiet skittish growlith is the child of the previous lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars on his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose to coming and coming to the coastlands? Ah, uh, did Aria, Arita ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, but truly, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? A survey of Fire Spit Island? I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Ice Skin, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Fire Spit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that 
We may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, oh, but I digress. I do apologize. Ice Skin lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Alright, well that's it for today, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Pokemon. Also, follow me on Twitter at Kashiba Gamer Girl and on TikTok at Kashiba Chan. And don't be afraid to follow my other TikTok channel at Straw Cat Crew. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!